Hi everyone, welcome again in our second lecture in Introduction to Law. Actually, we'll be exploring the analysis of the characteristics of the legal rule. تحليل الخصائص أو خصائص القاعدة القانونية. One would say, uh, what is the relationship between the legal rule and the law, whether in its general meaning or its uh, private meaning? And what is the relationship between those and the legal system? ما هي العلاقة بين القاعدة القانونية والقانون سواء بمعناه العام والخاص وبين النظام القانوني برماته؟ As a matter of fact, I would say, uh, إحنا قلنا إحنا عايزين نتفق على قاعدة ال arguments, the debates, the good faith debates. One would say, I would answer, one would criticize, أحدهما ينتقد, one would add, hmm? It lets him, uh, we have to deepen your debates. Uh, if you're studying the legal study, لو أنك تدرس الدراسة القانونية ما فيش دراسة قانونية بدون debates. والحقيقة مجتمعنا كله بيفتقد the art of debates. فن uh, المحاججة لن أسميه uh, تسمية أخرى ولكنها محاججة. حجة debates arguments حجة في مواجهة حجة pros and cons إيجابيات أن سلبيات there is nothing absolute ما فيش حاجة مطلقة خاصة في social sciences خاصة في العلوم الإنسانية أو social sciences أو all other social phenomena أو الظواهر المجتمعية anyhow one would say what is the connection, what is the relationship between the legal rule and the law? In our first lecture, we were talking about the law and the law possess dual connotation and we'll be addressing the law in general context, not in a particular context. ولكن بعضهم سيقول احنا الان هنستعرض الخصائص للقاعده القانونيه، هي القاعده القانونيه هي القانون؟ My answer will be the following. The legal rules are considered the smallest component of the law. And the law represents the legal system. The general scope of the law represents the legal system. What is the smallest component in your human body? Somebody would answer, say, the cell. ما هو أصغر تكوين في الكائن الحي في جسمك الخلية. What is the smallest component in any building? One would say, the block, al hagar. So, the main characteristics, the overwhelming, the smallest components in any structures, will be the prevailing characteristics of the entire structures. Zehi. يعني ايه؟ يعني خصائص الاصغر قطعا تنسحب على الاكبر. Uh, in the first lesson in your um, biology, تقد, uh, you studied خصائص الخليه. خصائص الخليه تحدد خصائص الكائن الحي. That's exactly what we're doing. We're doing um, some kind of um, uh, analytical studies or uh, some kind of uh, scrutinization. We're doing some kind of legal scrutinization. تحليل وتمحيص قانوني لبناء نظام القانوني. فحطينا النظام القانوني المصري تحت الميكروسكوب وقعدنا magnifying magnifying نكبر 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 لغاية ما بن لنا the smallest component of our legal system and our legal rules. So, the characteristics attached to the legal rules would be the prevailing characteristics of the law 
definitely will be the characteristics of the legal system. بتحديد خصائص القاعدة القانونية نستطيع أن نتعرف على خصائص القانون نستطيع أيضا أن نتعرف على خصائص النظام القانوني في المجمل. طيب أيضا I'd like to articulate يجب أن أوضح that any law consists of legal rules besides legal rules in addition to another legal rules so group of legal rules أي قانون يتكون مجموعة من القواعد whether a commercial, labor, civil, criminal, whatsoever, international, whatsoever, articles, provisions, مواد هذه المواد مادة بجوار مادة بجوار مادة تشكل قانون والقانون لا مكوّد مبوّب classified well organized كل مادة تشكل قاعدة so what is the definition of the legal rules? The legal rules can be defined as the following and obligatory social rules which govern social behavior in an abstract and general manners and which established in permanence by public authority and sanctioned by material force mm. and obligatory social rules بشكل عام ومجرد وضعت من قبل سلطة مختصة مصحوبة بجداء مادي إذا كافة القواعد القانونية must be an obligatory social rules must govern the social behavior must be set in a general and manner way must be enacted by a public authority must be attached with sanction to guarantee to be binding. Uh, so, the main characteristics of the social rule are the following aims to correct the social behaviors. The general and abstract scope, it's considered the social rules of conduct. تنظم السلوك الاجتماعي enact by public authority and attached by material and immediate sanction مصحوبة بجداء يكفل لها الإلزام yeah, those are the characteristics of the legal rules that consider the characteristics of the law whether in its general or in its particular meaning as it's prevailing or overwhelming the legal system Firstly, let's go deep in details to the characteristics of the legal rules. Firstly, it aims to correct the social behaviors. تهدف إلى ضبط السلوك سلوك الأفراد في المجتمع. معنا قلنا سلوك الأفراد في المجتمع في حالة من حالات conflicted of interests تضارب المصالح. Conflicted of interests or clashes between all different classes in society, employee and employers, tenants and landlords, poor and rich, uh, buyer and seller. The law is responsible or assigned by or shall accomplish uniformity, shall accomplish orders. These orders consider the main task for any law. So as I'm saying here, in order to correct the social behavior, rules of law aim directly to establishing order, striking balance between conflicting interests, and maintaining stability. Stability. This is the main task of the law. Order, uniformity. And those order and uniformity and stability wouldn't be achieved without drawing the borders 
drawing the borders between the conflicted interests in any given society. No. As long as rules of law are a main product, they are said to be ultimately by aiming at relative justice. Law, it's man-made product by the competent authority articulated by the Constitution. al qanun sana بشريه عن طريق السلطه المختصه بذلك الموضحه دستوريا وهي اللجزليتيف اسارتي القانون دائما وابدا لا يستطيع could not accomplish the absolute justice but only aim to achieve the relative justice العداله النسبيه so اي قانون لي فيكتيمز اي قانون في pros and cons ها legal scrutinization or the proper legal scrutinization for any legislation تحليل القانون لأي عمل تشريعي لابد أن ينطوي على pros and cons agree and disagree agree why and disagree and why قل فيهما اسم كبير ومنافع للناس اسم لي منافع لي طب هل اسمهما أكبر من نفعهما أم نفعهما أكبر من اسمي this is exactly the legal arguments or the legal debates. So the law so many times made sacri sacrificing the minority interests in favor of the majority interests. You يعني minor interests in favoring of the more important interests. So, it must be noted as well that the rules are not the only social and corrective signs, other type of rules of behavior. There are the cases of the rules of religion and morality, ethics and social traditions. Ah, يعني القانون هناك common base أو هناك shared ground بين القانون وبين مجموعة من القواعد الأخرى اللي هي aims to correct the social behavior as well اللي هي إيه؟ religion rules قواعد ديني morality rules ethical rules social traditions قواعد اجتماعية courtesy rules قواعد مجاملات كل هذا يشترك فيها القانون it aims to correct the social behavior however there is or the law stands out طب stands out ليه the law or the legal rules is so distinguished احنا هنا بقى لما اقول legal rules السنة انا مستو the law عشان ما يحصلش اي confusion يعني ها the law is the same as the legal rules or the synonyms I mean متراديفيني ولكن المسألة هنا الميكرو برسبكتيف والماكرو برسبكتيف يعني لما بتكلم على الميكرو برسبكتيف the legal rules كلم ماكرو برسبكتيف the law even I would say the legal system they are the same مسألة منظور ضيق منظور واسع أكبر ولكن الكاركترستيكس اللي بتنطبق هنا هي نفس الكاركترستيكس اللي بتنطبق هنا قال لك آه همم ده القواعد دي بتختلف عن القاعدة القانونية طب بتختلف في ايه؟ قال لك وجه الاختلاف في الأساسي إن ذا ليجال رولز كونسيرند تهتم with the external human behaviors so is not concerned with the internal feeling is not concerned with the motives, is not concerned with the incentives. Ah, I am not a canonia fakat to a will ala suluk il kherigi. Well, at a temible bewais when no way. One would say, one would argue, had this offer yatrah, or you get it. بقالت او بمقوله كيف ذلك يعني ازاي القانون لا يهتم بالباعث the law concerned with an incentive and with the motive بدليل ان هناك القتل العمد والقتل الخطا هقول له اه 
But keep in mind that we are not required to seek or to search behind the intention unless this intention been tangibilized, been demonstrated to an external human behavior. يعني أنا غير مطالبون بالبحث وراء النوايا والبواعث طالما أن هذه النوايا والبواعث لم تترجم إلى سلوك لكن عندما تترجم إلى سلوك external human behavior هنا وهنا فقط ننظر ننظر إلى هل هل ارتكب هذا السلوك بدافع العام deliberately intentionally ولا been mistakenly committed أو ارتكب بدافع الخطأ أشوف حضراتكم المحاضرة القادمة في الـ second characteristics